Well, from Groundhog Day to St. Patrick's Day, most people probably won't think about St. Patrick's Day for at least a couple weeks, but a Rhinelander group wants to get an early start. The main concern is making sure people who drink get home safely. Newswatch 12 Chardé Gray is live from a parking lot in Rhinelander and Chardé, how do they plan to get people home safe? Good evening, Lauren. Well, the answer to that is a safe ride home program chairman for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. They um, basically started the planning process at the beginning of January. Now, having a little tag like this yellow tag in the back of your car after you've called for the Safe Ride Home program was their top priority. David Omelia says placing the yellow tag in the back of the car not only lets the police know you're getting home safely, but you're keeping the community safe as well. It, you know, it fits in well with the community, keeps everybody safe, and you know, they know that they can get home without getting arrested or and or hurting or killing someone so it's just a good idea and it co-chairman jack winkler says he doesn't remember anyone getting cited for owi last year when they started the parade four years ago their main focus was to celebrate the irish community we like to drink celebrate eat good food and we talked about it and talked about it and finally one day david and i sat down and said it's time that we get something done Now the committee members look forward to hosting a safe event. Now as we get closer to the event, we'll see more flyers like this. If I can get the flyer open because it's so windy out here. But if we see more flyers like this, as you can see right here, it says, and support safe ride. They're basically supporting the safe ride home program. Now the chairman for the parade, they're hoping to incorporate a marching band this year. They've never had that this year. They've never had that in the past years, but they're hoping to have that this year. Now if anyone is interested in participating in the parade. We'll have that information on our website at WJFW.com. We're covering the news live in Rhinelander. Sharday Gray, Newswatch 12. All right, thanks to Sharday. Sounds like a good idea.